Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our upper back, mid back and lower back. We'll try to keep up with the intensity. Spoiler alert. I was not able to complete all the exercises which I wanted to complete because I was running a little bit short on time. But that's absolutely fine. I was still able to get as many effective reps as possible. So straight away, I'm going to start with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions on each side. If you still have any kind of soreness or tightness in your lower body after the leg day or any kind of tightness in your chest and triceps, make sure you do a little bit of massaging, a little bit of foam rolling. Maybe a few static stretches could really help you loosen up. Now, after completing my greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, make sure you do some kind of dynamic stretching. If you're even doing five minutes of walking and treadmill, that's still absolutely fine. But make sure you dedicate at least two minutes to, for dynamic stretching. I move into my deep squat. We push our glutes far behind, feel our hamstring stretch. Once they are completely stretched, bend your knees and sit down in a deep squat, feeling your entire lower body completely engaged. Stay there for a few seconds and then we can begin with our exercises. So for the first exercise, I'm going to start with the lat pullovers. Again, if you're lucky and you have the lat pullover equipment in your gym, please go ahead and use that. I've done four sets of these 20 repetitions. Otherwise, you can set it up like I did. Simply put a bench on an incline. There's about a 60 degree angle in front of the cable crossover machine. Take one cable, a straight bar and start pulling it over your head while keeping your elbows locked. An amazing exercise to get a great amount of blood flowing into our lat muscles and get that contraction happening in our lat muscles. The primary movement of our lat muscles is moving our hands way beyond our head and bringing them again down back. So this is going to the primary range of motion, helping us a lot in terms of activating those lat muscles, especially the upper, upper and mid lats. You might feel a little bit of activation in your trapezium muscles that's absolutely fine but stay and go ahead and complete those 20 repetitions now when it comes to weight you would be a little bit stronger in this range of motion because of the gravity assistance which you will be getting because you're pulling it down so you'll be assisted a little bit so make sure you load as heavy as possible try for a set see how it feels if it feels too light then make sure you load a little bit heavier because we want to get those 20 repetitions and those 20 repetitions should be challenging. Like by the time I reached my fourth set, I was hardly able to complete 15 to 16 repetitions with the weight. So I was hitting near failure, but not absolute failure. And that was a good mark for me saying that I have chosen the right amount of weight. If you have a cable crossover machine like this, remember the weight marking on the stack for a cable crossover such as these is actually the weight of both the sides together so if you think it's 26 kilos it might actually be only 13 kilos of load so make sure you load accordingly post completing my lat pullovers i moved on to lat pull downs i have a tiny problem with this particular equipment at my gym i'm not very comfortable with this one it doesn't feel as great as a regular lat pull or lat pull down machine but any which ways I have done three sets of these uh, this equipment wherein I have done 15 repetitions plus some pause and rest technique repetitions wherein I added another 5-5 five, five repetitions as many as possible. I wanted to do at least four sets of five but I could only do one or two sets because for some reason in this particular equipment my biceps and forearms get a lot activated. I don't know if what exactly I'm doing wrong because I have seen myself doing this exercise multiple number of times and the movement seems pretty right the range of motion seems pretty right the grip i'm making sure i'm not strictly or holding on to the bar extremely tight so not sure why my forearm and my bicep gets a lot activated while doing lat pull downs on this particular equipment it never happened to me while doing the cable one so something for me to figure out as i go forward I try to also keep the range of motion a little bit, cut it short a little bit to make sure I don't activate my biceps so much that they get fatigue before my lats get fatigue. So that's one thing. 
you might not face this challenge totally but i just wanted to share with you that this is something which few challenges which every one of us face once in a while now post completing those i moved on to penle rows these are basically like bent over rows but here you want your elbows completely flared out we are targeting our mid traps a little bit of upper traps will get activated but mostly we want to go with the mid traps and as you can see my elbows are coming just beside my shoulders they're not coming towards my hips they're staying beside my shoulder so my trap muscles are what pulling this weight towards me here is a top angle to see how it works now if you're if you're unable to control the weight start doing it with an empty bar again i'm also not very strong in this particular range of movement so i chose with just 10 kilo plates on both the side so make sure you try the exercise do 14 uh, sorry four reps four sets of these and as many repetitions as possible to learn how to do the movement post completing those i moved on to my shrugs now for shrugs this time i chose to do the seated dumbbell shrugs when i'm sitting down slightly bending forward and then started doing the shrugs i've done a drop sit so basically i have done three drops started with a weight dropped the weight twice did as many repetitions as possible took a 45 seconds break in between and then went for my second set now the weight which you choose has to be challenging try to get those 15 to 20 repetition mark with the first weight so that that's where you fail with the first weight and the second and third weight would fall on so for example i started with a 22 kilo dumbbell and then drop to 17 and then drop to 15 kilos i'm using straps to basically take my attention away from the grip part of the shrugs the reason why i'm I have sped up the video is because it's pretty easy there's not much to explain here simply sit down just bend forward look down chin down chin tucked in and start shrugging the dumbbells will be just hanging beside you use straps and gloves to eliminate the grip problem if you have any make sure you feel those traps working as you can see in the video how my traps were engaged while i try to shrug as much as possible post completing my shrugs i moved on to three sets of pull ups and reverse shrugs together as many repetitions as possible wide grip with 45 to 60 seconds in between i'm still not very strong in my pull ups so i was ma managing only four to five repetitions in the last part of it just about okay i'm not very proud of it but still going strong so the moment you complete your pull ups instantly start doing the reverse shrugs wherein you use your upper back basically your trapezium and your upper lat muscles to shrug while hanging down do three sets of these as many repetitions as possible with a 45 to 60 second break in between you may go ahead and use straps and gloves if you feel a little bit uh, weaker on your grip strength or for like me if your calluses start hurting really bad go ahead and use the straps to help you a little bit to achieve your number of repetitions now post completing this i moved on to deadlifts yes deadlift for the last bit of exercise so three sets starting off with the first set as a consider this as a warm up or technically can't be warm up because you have done so much of exercise you are already pretty warmed up but like a you know teaching your body how to go through the range of motion before going through a compound or heavier weights so start off with a weight which is just about challenging for 15 repetitions and start deadlifting now if you can't do this particular exercise deadlift for any particular reason please go ahead and do bent over rows or chest supported rows to complete your back exercise workout so the second and third set i have done six heavy repetitions at an explosive manner to finish off my entire lower back exercise and that's it for today thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated i'll continuously and constantly upload my progress so make sure you press on the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload my videos
Thank you so much again for joining me. I'm finishing off with a vertical hang just to stretch out my back muscles and also train my grip strength. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.